Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Tesla Model 3 2024 Highland Edition. As you can see, no hands on the wheel. We are running software version 12.5.6.3 for the full self-drive. Current weather conditions are 43 degrees Fahrenheit with winds coming out of the west at 10 miles per hour. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I picked up this Tesla Model 3 back in March of 2024. I placed the order for this vehicle back in December of 2023. So this is the Model 3 refresh that Tesla has released for 2024. If you happen to like these style videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be releasing weekly full self-driving videos. For those of you that don't know what Tesla's full self-driving is, or otherwise known as FSD, it's essentially a driver assist system that provides advanced guidance and assisted driving for Tesla vehicles. Essentially, it's a supervised version of an autonomous vehicle, so you do not need to control anything with the steering wheel or the acceleration or brake. It does take a little bit of time to get used to in terms of earning trust with the vehicle in the software since you are relying and putting your entire trust into the vehicle to drive itself so it does take a little bit of time to get used to but once you build up that trust with the software it gets a little bit easier with time on today's drive we do actually have one disengagement that i encountered and what i mean by disengagement for those that are not aware is if there's a situation in which you need to take over from the vehicle driving itself where you have to stop the full self-drive mode that is considered to be a disengagement so stick around for the middle of the video you'll see that disengagement happen it was one of the first times that it had happened to me in this specific situation so stay tuned until the middle to end of the video you'll see what I'm talking about leave a comment down below from where you're watching from i am targeting to reply to each and every comment that i get from this video so comment down below let me know what state or what part of the country east west coast whether you have a tesla or you're looking to get a tesla just leave any comment down below my goal is to respond to each and every comment from this video now, as I mentioned, this is the Tesla Model 3 2024 Highland Edition rear wheel drive. This is their refresh model. So this is my first Tesla. I cannot compare it to any other model, obviously. However, I did hear from previous customers and owners of Model 3 specifically that the Model 3 refresh in 2024 was exponentially better than the predecessors. The build quality was better, noise cabin was reduced, the overall feel and experience of the drive is better. So I'm very fortunate that I was able to jump into this Tesla from the refresh perspective. So I am very thankful for that and I do really like the car. I think it's a fantastic build. I think it's really fun to drive. It's great quality overall, though you do hear some horror stories. I haven't had any issues with it. I did have one minor problem where the blind spot on the left hand mirror was not working. So I had to take that in uh, to the shop and they fixed that within a week of ownership of the car. So nothing crazy there, pretty minor fix, but overall I have no issues with it. Build quality is great and I really, really enjoy the vehicle. I'm probably gonna be a returning Tesla customer. As you saw there on that right hand turn from red, the software that we're running currently is just so natural, so organic. You don't see any jerks. You don't see any robotic movements. Pretty much the whole route and the drive really feels like a human driving, which is what you want. That's where Tesla's goal, I think, should be and most likely is internally, is that you want the driver that's behind the wheel, that's supervising the software to feel as if they're driving or a human is driving they're just a passenger in the software's control right you have full control to take over of course which is again going back to the disengagement you want that disengagement to be low you want it to be zero of course that's their goal i'm sure 
in this drive like i said i had one which is overall pretty good but you really want that to be as low as possible close to zero if at all possible and so it's getting better and better with each software update it just feels very natural very organic kind of like a human is driving so again you're in the software's control but you want to feel like a passenger that's a part of a drive that's in control from a human right you want to get to as close as that to that feeling as possible which in this update i think we're getting really close one of the things that is taking me some time to get used to from the tesla is that it has a regenerative style braking system what that means is that when you let go of the accelerator pedal your vehicle starts to slow down and from my understanding that's recharging that's throwing charge power back into the battery so imagine you're driving and you're letting go of the accelerator the more abrupt you let go of the accelerator the faster the tesla will slow down so you virtually don't have to use the actual brake system at all though there is one so if you're driving you can rely fully on the accelerator to speed up and slow down if that makes sense so to me that's taking some time to get used to it's very sensitive on the slowdown the acceleration feels pretty natural and organic to a normal gas vehicle uh, but the braking system and the braking experience with the regenerative style braking is a little bit different so it's taking some time to get used to let me know down in the comments below if anybody else is having that same feeling in terms of taking some time to get used to that regenerative style braking what you're about to see here is the disengagement and i will report that back to tesla as you'll hear here in a second vehicle is about to turn on red with a no turn on red sign so what i did there is report an audio message back to the tesla team they provide this option anytime you disengage from full self-driving the idea behind this is so that users and customers of the full self-driving experience can provide feedback in near real time after disengagement so a disengagement is a penalty quote unquote in tesla's eyes so they want to know and understand what had happened so that was me providing that update as you saw it did try to turn on red even though there was a no turn on red sign so i'm curious to know if anybody else has experienced this leave it down in the comments below i have not had this happen to me before but that might be because i don't have too many of those signs around me i wonder if the software is intelligent enough to see that if if it's capable clearly it's not i'm wondering if it's capable though if they can introduce that into one of their next updates or if it is on their roadmap currently it's not capable so that is a that is a pretty big negative since uh, you don't want to be turning on red if there's a clear sign uh, not to do that so let me know if anybody else has experienced that same issue down in the comments below This will be my first winter season with the Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive. I am in Ohio, so we do have some snow um, and the weather is going to be getting cold here. As I'm recording this, it's end of November of 2024. So like I said, current temperatures are about mid forties. So temperatures are gonna start dropping from here on out. We'll see how it does in the winter, uh, especially in the snow, since it is a rear wheel drive. I'm not sure if that was a mistake on my part, getting the rear wheel drive or not, but time will tell. Here we're coming up on a rather unique lane. As you saw there, as we just passed it, there's a uh, option to turn left, right, or forward. The software actually interpreted that and displayed it on the screen here towards your right hand side. So. I'm actually pretty excited to see that. The animation is much smoother now that Tesla reportedly fixed a, what is it, a 10 plus year old bug. So they have improved the animation significantly. Uh, but this is an interesting lane because it gives you the option to turn left, straight or right. And it's going to commit to this left hand turn with no problem. I'm just gonna fast forward this clip here so that you can see the left hand turn in action.
and again very very smooth it's not jerky like it was in some previous software versions for full self-drive very smooth very confident in that turn really truly feels like you're in control of a human driving so you're just supervising another human driver which is again the ultimate goal for autonomous vehicles on the road very smooth very confident committed to that turn so really cool to see that I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate your support. Again, I'm gonna be releasing weekly videos on Tesla's full self-driving journey as they continue to release incredible, incredible updates to the full self-driving features here. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be releasing many more like this. Thanks again for your support and have a great rest of the day.